Top. Yes. We're ready. ready. All right, here with Yuka Sasso. Y Yuka, what do you think was going so well for you today? Um, I think my short game putting um, was really good today. Let's start at the beginning here. Your front nine, you had that eagle on number nine. Take us through that eagle. Um, so the T was in the front, and we had like 260 to the flag, I think. And, um, you know, just why not just go for it? So I did, and, you know, the putt was good pace, and, you know, happy and went in. The front to some players is a little bit easier. Uh, would you say so yourself? Because when you came into the back nine, you still were able to notch five more birdies. Um, I think front is, I think, a bit harder for me because it's par, how many, 33, 34? Is it 33? 30. 34. So yeah, it's a little, there's a lot of par threes. So it's hard to score, but the back nine, I think it it is much scorable because it's par 70 at uh, 37. So yeah. You had two birdies on those closing par fives. How important was that for you to be able to finish strong like that? Um, 17, I think it was a really good shot, and 18, I think that was just lucky because if that didn't went in, it, it would have gone somewhere, you know. But finishing, you know, birdie. Birdie is, um, I think, I'm, I'll take it. I'm really happy. What happened there on number 18? Because I saw the last couple of shots in that. How long was that final putt for you? I think it was like, like four, 36 feet or something. It was downhill, right to left. Yeah, it was a not easy putt, but yeah, <laughs> it went in. This is, is this what your first time at Highland Meadows? Yes, um, this is my first time, and I came here early after KPMG, and you know, wait, just give me one sec. Who is the who's the tournament director? Judd, Judd Silverman is. Uh, How do you pronounce it? How Judd. J U D. So Judd came. I was in the driving range, and Judd came and you know welcomed me, you know saying you know this is like one of the oldest um, tournament in LPGA and. That day I just found out, so I was really happy and thankful that, you know, I was able to come here and able to play. Um, and, you know, golf course is really in good shape. And the people here are so nice. They're like cheering. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of people too. So um, I think it'll be one in my memories. Have you ever been to this part of the United States before? No. First time in Ohio Toledo, Ohio. It's, it's pretty good. I like quiet place. I mean, it's not quiet in the golf course, but outside it's, it's really nice. This is your first event since KPMG. What have you been work, what did you work on in that week off that you had before this event? To be honest, I was resting. Um, I wasn't really working on anything. If I did, um, maybe on the range, um, my short game, I think, and my driving as well, because I've been you know, working my jives. Um, but I think there's still work need to do. Now that you've had three competitive days under your belt, what do you think of Highland Meadows Golf Club and what do you like most about this course? First, you know, I really like the grass. It, it's bent grass and because um, you get a really good turf, divot. I really like it. Um, of course, in really good shape and, you know, it's a little tricky because there's a lot of big trees, um, especially on number 10. Um, your ferry looks very narrow because of the trees and those challenging stuff. Um, I, I really like it, yeah. I know you played with Envy in this <laughs> round here. You played with her also at KPMG, yeah. but I know you really look up to her as well. So what is that like playing with Envy? You know, she plays like, she, I don't know, she's so calm like the whole round. And you don't realize, but once we finish, her score is like five under, six under. And so those kind of things, um, being calm and you know, trying to do your best until the end, I think that is what I'm trying to learn from her. And you know, playing with her for three days, including like two days in KPMG, one day, today, 
yeah, it's been a really good experience for me. All right. What will you take into tomorrow now that you've really leapt yourself into contention here? Um, I'll just do whatever I did um, last couple of days. Um, just enjoy it and learn from, you know, learn again tomorrow.